Hello everybody and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. In this tutorial we will be covering how to do some split toning effects here in uh, Photoshop Elements. Now first things first is we're going to start with this photo right here. And what we're going to do right off the bat is we're going down to um, this kind of icon over here to create a new fill or adjustment layer. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to a gradient now. And what this does is this will apply a gradient across the tonal range of the photo, applying whatever is over here across your dark values and over here across your light values and everywhere in between. Consequently, you know, if we reverse this then you get a negative, but that's not what we're worried about. We're going to create a split tone here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select one color for our dark values here. I'm going to pick sort of a dark blue here. See that's applied across the entire image. And then over here, I'm going to select a, we'll pick sort of a peachy color. Okay. Now, first thing we see right here is that it creates a duotone color effect of the whole thing. And, you know, that's fine. As, you know, this is a useful thing to know because you can't really do duotones in Photoshop Elements like you can in the full version. But... What else we can do is we can sort of we can decrease the opacity here. We can sort of have this overlay the thing in here and give us a split tone effect. Now, obviously this isn't the only way to do this, and this isn't necessarily the best way to do this. But if this is the only tool you have at your disposal, this is obviously an option. Now, but we don't have to stop here. We can go back and we can adjust this. Go to our lighting levels and up the contrast a little bit. And sort of the more contrast your original photo is, the sort of better results you'll sort of get from your uh, your split toning application here. The thing to remember about this though is that you're going to sort of lose a lot of detail, and this isn't going to do give you the same effect. Say if you went to split tone in um, Lightroom, or the full version of Photoshop Raw might have this option here. It's, it's not going to do the same thing because it's not exactly the same process here. But what's more interesting about this is that you can go back and you can sort of add values in between here. Sort of find something that matches here. You have to remember that you have to find something that's sort of appropriate with your tonal palette. And you can sort of adjust this. You can play which, which parts get blue and which parts are sort of the orange color and so on and so forth. But there's one more thing you can do with these. Is that you can also utilize your blending modes here. Soft light is an option, although this will add contrast, so you have to go back and reduce contrast in your original photo if you want it sort of in the same um, contrast range. Screen is also a good one that I found out works, although the same thing is you have to be careful but the one advantage to do is you have is you can pick a truer um, color here and it won't darken it as much as it will in um, if you choose the light and blending mode. And obviously you can duplicate and stack layers. Oops, that is not what I want to do. Let's undo that. I want to duplicate that layer. And you just have to be careful because you will start multiplying your really light values and really dark values. The other advantage that comes with this is that, let's switch this back to normal, and get sort of what it is over here, and change our gradient map back to what we were working at before. Um, that's about right. Okay. Yeah. And additionally to getting the layer mask, you also have your blending options. You can do what you want, and you have opacity controls, and you have all the things that come in with coming in with a layer. That's sort of the advantage of this process. The disadvantage is is that you don't have the same control and doesn't apply the same effect as if you were to go into a true split toning process. Consequently, if you do it, leave it just as is with this and you create a duotone, you still don't have the same control or the same process here, although it's closer and very similar. And with that, thanks for watching, and see you later.